Hello and welcome to our National Mirror. On 29th of October 2021, the District Administration of uh, East Kaming uh, Seppa had got the information that dead fish were floating in the Kaming River and also the water uh, got dug uh, gray. So as per the reports, the DC said the organizations from Bangalore uh, and Kolkata, also the experts team were uh, uh, studying the ecosystem of the river. So today we have uh, Mr. Chintan Set, a uh, geographer, also um, and a naturalist. He has been working in Arunachal since 2007 on geography animals and more recently on the uh, natural hazards and floods. So he has also been mapping India's savanna grasslands since 2012. Currently, he is working with other scientists in uh, trying to understand the causes and effects of the uh, coming debris flow event of October 2021. Uh, so, Mr. Chintan said, if you could please highlight on the cause that turned coming river uh, black. Of, of course, we have the information that it was due to the landslide in the Varyang Bung River. Uh, so more recently, you went there, the team went there to study the ecosystem. What was the uh, result? What was the report? Can you please tell us, the, can you please tell the viewers of our natural mirror? Sure, sure. Thank you, Ms. Sunny. And thank you for like uh, talking to me and, uh, you know, getting the information about this event that has happened on the Kaming River. Uh, so I'd like to start with the fact that, uh, I mean, there was a series of events that occurred uh, initially in October and then November. And uh, then we decided that we'll, okay, go, we need to do a field survey, a proper field investigation of uh, not of the water quality as well as to understand what happened in the river itself. So yes. uh, based on satellite uh, imagery evidence that I've been like trying to acquire for the last, uh, and I've been working on for the last two months, uh, the evidence shows that on 28th October, uh, there was some uh, debris that had come down from the source of the Vapre Bung River. So the Vapre Bung River is a, is a big major tributary of the Kaming uh, in this particular section. It was quite far upstream, the Pachuk River, as well as a few kilometers upstream, the Valangbung River. So the debris flow first like, seemed to have occurred on 28th and 29th October. And subsequently, uh, between 29th October and 5th November. And on 5th November, we had done the aerial survey uh, via helicopter with the DC, as well as the Secretary of Disaster Management or the State Disaster Management Authority. So between 29th and 5th, there was a second event that was of sl slightly larger magnitude and it had eroded a significant portion of the river and had deposited debris, rocks, sediments, mud, uh, like from 15 kilometers onwards to the river all the way down uh, at least till Tezpur and probably at least till Bhalakpong and beyond, we're not very sure. Uh, the initial sort of a preliminary investigation shows that there was, on 12th October, there was a, a very minor, small earthquake very close to this, to the source of the landslide. Uh, but however, the satellite imagery, Im Im imagery uh, doesn't really show any major difference after 12th. And it shows major, a major landslide had occurred only somewhere around 28th, 29th October and after that. So the landslide has occurred from a mountain peak that, that so the mountain peak goes up to about 7,000 meters. Uh, the, the name of the mountain peak is still, uh, still a little bit of a mystery. We're trying to confirm it from the elders in the region. Uh, but that basically the source, the, uh, that particular mountain peak has glaciers. It, it is uh, nearly snow covered most times of the year. And it is also the source of the Kaming River as well as the Vaprabung River which is also known as the Kawang Kwapi in the Puroik language. So the basic cause of this debris flow event, as well as the, the, the loss of the fish population has been because of this landslide. Okay, so as you have also mentioned about this uh, landslide of the um, uh, from the mountain, the glaciers. So in uh, receding and reducing in size of the glaciers, do you think there's any signs of uh, climate change or global warming? So if there is, would you uh, like to say anything on that? So broadly speaking, there is a over the last decade and two or two decades, scientific evidence shows that 
nearly all lot many most of the glaciers in the eastern himalaya are receding so arunachal pradesh is part of the eastern himalaya uh, it is also a biodiversity hotspot but the geographical mountain range is the eastern himalaya essentially so there is no ongoing effects of climate change are there in this in this region however this particular event is very it's not ex- very easy to correctly put climate change uh, to implicate climate change for the cause of the event it this is because uh, scientifically understanding and unraveling the causes of these landslide is complicated it takes some time it also takes a lot of um, you know we need to acquire a, a very a very large volume of data and to be able to co- come completely like implicate climate change will still take some time and we are still working on it we're trying to collaborate and form a team that includes other scientists who have studied glaciers to study meteorology so we're hoping that in the, in the, in a year or maybe little more than a year we should have some solid evidence about what is the true cause of of this landslide it seems like at the moment the the changes that have got, hap- occurred in the river seem to be uh phenomenally drastic it seems to be a very major event for the aquatic ecosystem uh although the last so we left that the confluence point of the river of the vaprebung and the kameng river sometime around 18th of december and on 17th and 18th december when we had measured the water uh so we took a whole bunch of instruments and this is in collaboration with uh, uh iser indian institute of science education and research in kolkata dr punya sloki badri and his uh, team uh, mr chakrish kumar they have been they study aquatic ecos- ecosystems and the data showed that the water quality was improving there however even as the water quality is improving upstream uh which which probably is a sign that the landslide itself has significantly reduced in its uh in in its in in its size i mean in the sense that it's not wasting as much of debris and it's not giving out as much of debris in the river anymore however the structure of the river has changed so usually kya hota hai ki river mein you have places where jahan pe current zyada rehta hai koi koi jagah mein river pool hota hai koi koi jagah mein river rapid ki tarah patthar ke upar chala jata hai aur koi koi jagah mein there are places jahan pe rock crevices और क्लिफ जब जगह जगह पे वहां पे फिश पॉपुलेशन अच्छा खासा वो लोग हाइब्रिडेशन में जा सकता है और रीजनरेट भी हो सकता है लेकिन अनफॉर्चुनेटली क्या हुआ है कि फॉर इनिशियल 15 किलोमीटर रिवर का पूरा इरोड हो चुका है दैट इज वन मेजर थिंग और 15 किलोमीटर से लेके अबाउट 30 किलोमीटर डाउन तक डिपोजिशन uh, हुआ है और ये डिपोजिशन इज मेजर कोई कोई जगह पे द हाइट ऑफ द debris flow itself was at least 25 30 meters from the bed of the river it was a very very large event it moved through the system very slowly as per uh, not just the as per the log puroik guides who have, who who we who took us there as well as their eyewitness events of the play of the event itself it moved very slowly through the system and as it moved through the system it deposited and carried uh, wood trees rocks and so on and so forth so the entire river geography has changed it no it is completely it is no longer pooling in places there is the current there is no places where the currents are uh, changing it is entirely moving over rocks in the in in from like 15 kilometers to about 30 to 40 kilometers downstream after 40 kilometers the, most of the river is is um, filled up with sediment like the river bed is com- is is has a lot of sediments that have come from the landslide and that's why downstream abhi tak safa nahi hua hai and that's be- and we hope that in the next monsoon it may clear but it remains to be seen what will happen in the next monsoon so this is a major event for the aquatic ecosystem and our- and we're trying to study how the aquatic ecosystem will can be resilient or how the aquatic system will come back to either an initial phase of before the debris flow or to some kind of phase where it is adapted to the debris to to the changed river structure so we're hoping that in a year or in two years time because research takes time and this place is very remote and uh, essentially we walked for 5 days to reach the confluence point from the nearest road 
so given all that in place this is not an easy task it requires a lot of effort uh, as well as uh, it requires a lot of resources so we're hoping this a uh, two year research program will be able to give us some answers with regards to what the civil society can contribute to this is that uh, we hope that okay we hope that uh, we continue to get the support that we have got from the people of east coming it, they have been very supportive of our work and they've been very kind and they've hosted us in several places helped us out in several places uh, we hope that in places uh, in the neighboring tributaries the major fishing traps jo uh, lagate hain to block the river that we hope that that should that can reduce at least in places jahan pe khane peene ka takleef nahi hai like sir for example sapa and pacha baaki jagah mein of course khane peene ka takleef hota hai isliye log fishing karte hain and that is not something we we i would like to uh, it's difficult to really put a control on that there are other you know social problems to that but in places like say pacha jahan pe khane peene ka itna takleef bhi nahi hai which is very close to sapa major these major blocking areas of uh, to trap fish need to be removed that is something yeah aapne jaise kaha tha ki jo downstream ke uh, jo pani abhi tak saaf nahi hua hai so is there any risk risk to the uh, downstream settlements so as so as far i understand ki at least there are no major settlements or there are no small settlements along the river right except mm-hmm. for uh, some places like uh, uh, in sawa circle and kerava circle there are very few villages although they are still quite far away from the bank so i per se there there doesn't seem to be any risk to any kind of settlement in case there's a second event and the good thing is that ki koi settlement uh, in that in the risky the, the the in the upstream like the last settlement is at least 40 kilometers downstream of the source of the landslide so we're hoping that uh, since there are no there are no settlements upstream uh the maximum damage would occur there right yes. and uh, and by the time it's reached any kind of settlement the energy of the of any kind of say debris flow event or any kind of say flood event would have reduced because okay. the river broadens significantly after about 30 kilometers because it meets another tributary so however mm-hmm. the the important thing is that this 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 needs to be monitored and uh, a, it's a, a single person cannot actually monitor it it would be good if the state government were to put together some some kind of team or some kind of body including some kind of departments that can monitor it continuously or at least you know look at take a look at it weekly to understand if there are any ongoing changes in the in the geography of the mountain or in the river just so as we keep up to date about what's going on Okay, you have suggested what the state government should do. Is there any uh, op- uh, suggestions to the uh, uh, citizens of Sepa? क्या करना चाहिए उन लोगों को अभी तक क्योंकि अभी तक कामेंग रिवर भी साफ नहीं हुआ है. So I I think one some of the important things ये है कि one is to support the like to support and help the aquatic ecosystem to bounce back. मैंने already एक mention किया था कि removal of large uh, you know traps in the river both are एक that will be very good the second thing is ki uh, reduce the pollution in the river through dumping of garbage i i understand ki administration is working very hard to bring together a waste management system and uh, it is important ki sapa ke log aur other jagah jagah pe ye thoda samajh samajhne ki koshish kare ki garbage jo hai plastic waste aur jo bhi waste hai usko nadi mein nahi dalne se theek hai that will not Uh, help the ecosystem come back at all it will actually be detrimental to the ecosystem the aquatic ecosystem's health so that they have to, so the people of eka is coming needs to be aware of these, uh, these okay is there anything you would like to say uh, that's about it right Th- yeah thank you yeah okay thank you thank you for joining with arnachal mirror and giving such informations uh, we hope that we will soon get uh, many more updates on this coming river thank you for joining with us Thank you. Yeah.